Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash. I'm here with my sort of first impressions for the awesome new sort of cute farm sim RPG I've been playing on Steam called Fay Farm. Now this was developed and published by Phoenix Labs and was released on the 8th of September 2023 and I was sent a copy of this game so I could play it, do a review for you and I'm going to be streaming it as well this weekend, I've just not been able to get around to it just yet so I'm pumping out my first impressions and then I'm going to be live for a few hours at the weekend playing along through the story. Now this game is great, I'm loving it so far, I'm only like onto the fourth chapter so far a couple of hours in but if you like those sort of cozy farming sim like games you're probably gonna absolutely love this game now this game is so polished compared to a lot of games in this sort of genre i've been playing recently it looks absolutely fantastic you basically start the game you create your character and you end up finding this sort of message in a bottle saying come to this island and basically make it your home and that's where you end up and you head to this world of Azoria and you basically set up a little home there, a little farm and the story unfolds and there's all sorts of like magic and mysteries to solve through the game story. Now I'm not really far into the, it story wise, I keep getting distracted by like other things to do and looking after my little garden and I like running around finding scrolls that unlock like crafting abilities and stuff like that. So I, I could probably be further into the story but right now I'm just enjoying exploring the environment and stuff like that. Now the game itself you can play this solo or online via co-op which is awesome. Like you can play with up to four players online and you can basically help each other out in your quests and stuff like that by visiting each other's sort of worlds. Now, so far, like I say, I'm not super deep into the story, but I'm loving it. It's great. The writing's great. The characters have, like, they're, even though it's, like, text-based and it's not, like, voice-acted, they all have unique sort of personalities and stuff like that. I love how detailed and gorgeous the environment looks. The UI as well looks great and now I'm playing this on Steam but it is also available on Switch so I bet this plays absolutely fantastic on the Switch because the UI definitely feels much more sort of controller friendly than other games in this sort of genre. Now the game eases you into it and slowly but surely introduces new mechanics and sort of tools you can use so early on you'll get your, like your net, your fishing rod, a magic wand and stuff like that and it's great like i say there's lots of crafting there's like animals you can raise and stuff like that there's places that you can sell i love that you have like a marketplace in the center of the town and you can put all your items out on display and people buy them at the end of the day i think that's a really cool little um touch and the game also has like a big island to explore as well as loads of like caves and stuff like that and quests and enemies to deal with so i'm not that far in at the moment but i have seen a lot of footage of this game because i've been really looking forward to playing it so i am really deep into it at the moment and i'm going to be playing it loads more now on pc there's two versions available there's the standard version and there's the deluxe version so the standard version is 29.99 and the deluxe edition is 49.99 now the deluxe edition comes with the base game plus the official soundtrack and two content packs that will be coming later on so um this will be like dlc packs and it's going to unlock new areas new characters new stories creatures etc so they'll be coming one in december 2023 and one in june 2024 so loads of reasons to um keep coming back and playing the game but like i say i can't go too much into this i have only been playing it for a couple of hours but so far i am really 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 enjoying it like the 
game feels better than Animal Crossing for me. I, I'm, I feel like Animal Crossing is much slower, but I love how you can traverse the town. You've got a jump option here as well and a swim option, so you can like swim through water. You can jump up like rocks and stuff to get to different places, but having to just walk all the way around to find like a um, a path or like a set steps, which is great. The crafting and customization interior and exterior is really fun and you can eventually really build up your sort of house to make it really nice and expand in front of your property as well to make it really cool so so far i'm absolutely loving the game once i've got a little deeper into it i'll come back and do a full review but like i say check out on the channel because i'm going to be doing a live stream very very soon on the channel where I'll be playing it for probably quite a lot of hours because I am really enjoying this. And I've really gotten into these sort of farm sim games recently. They're just nice games to sort of chill out with and just take my time with it. It's also um, Steam Deck verified compatible and my new Steam Deck arrives some point in the next week. So I'll also include my sort of thoughts about playing it on the Steam Deck in my final review. But other than that, guys, it does feature partial controller support and Steam achievements as well on PC. So check it out. They've done an absolutely fantastic job for Phoenix Labs. And honestly, one of the best farming sim games I have played in possibly ever. But that's that for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button, hit subscribe, and I'll see you very soon for more content. Bye for now.